Ten minutes on foot, in the north side of Fira, is a small settlement called Fira Stefani. The name means Crown of Fira because of its geographical location in relation to the rest of Fira. There are many traditional houses, picturesque paths, and nice views of the volcano. It is as beautiful as Fira, but more quiet and relaxing. About a kilometer north of Fira Stefani is a village called Imura Vigli. It stretches to the highest point of the caldera, about 300 meters above sea level. It's a traditional village constructed under special conditions and limitations due to its location. The name is a composite of the words day and vigil. It is believed that at one point there was a tower here which served as an observation point for pirates. Just in front of Imerovigli, there was a settlement called Skaros Castle, one of the five castles of Santorini. Skaros was the island's capital for many years, but was abandoned in the early 17th century due to the serious damage caused by the eruption of the underwater volcano. If I could afford it, Imero Vigli would be my first choice to stay at in Santorini, as it has some really beautiful hotels. It's really gorgeous here, beautiful scenery that you just can't get sick of. I'm now headed to Pyrgos, the highest village in Santorini, which is located 10 kilometers southeast of Fira. It has some nice views of the island, and many people come here to walk on its beautiful paths. Pyrgos was one of the five castles of Santorini and became the capital after the abandonment of Skaros in Miravigli. Four kilometers southeast of Pyrgos is the monastery of the prophet Elias and definitely worth visiting. It's really nice and there's a great view of the whole island. In the southwest part of Santorini, about 15 kilometers from Fira, you will find Akrotiri. This village became famous because of the prehistoric settlement that was discovered in this area. From the findings of the excavations, we now know that the area of Akrotiri was originally inhabited during the late Neolithic period, about 4500 BCE, and in the 18th century BCE became a city. In the beginning of the 17th century, it was raised by an earthquake, but was rebuilt on the ruins and flourished during the late Cycladic period, up to the Minoan eruption that dismembered the island. Mm -hmm. 
About one kilometer away from the ancient settlement, inside the Venetian castle of Akrotiri, you will find an interesting tower from the 13th century called La Ponta. The tower operates as a bagpipe workshop and showroom. At the southern Cape of Akrotiri is a lighthouse that was built in 1892 and is one of the best in the entire Greek network of lighthouses. It's about 18 kilometers away from Fira and 58 meters above sea level. At the top of the mountain that divides Parissa and Kamari beaches lies ancient Thera. This city was established in the 8th century BCE and was inhabited up to the first Byzantine period. In its current form, you can see the strong influences from the Hellenistic and the Roman periods. The traces of the first centuries of its existence have disappeared due to the continuous habitation. The views from up here are great because you can almost see the whole island. What makes Santorini really stand out is the unusually green surface for a cycladic island, which comes from the vast amount of grapevines on the island. The adverse climate conditions, consisting of strong winds, forced farmers to adopt a unique low-shaped pruning so as to protect the grapes from both the wind and the heat during the summer. Santorini wine is pretty famous, and on the island you can find many well-known traditional wineries. The only one that I had the time to visit was Art Space, which functions as a gallery and museum. Art Space από το 14 χρόνια, το 1999, είναι οποίο γκαλερί και μουσείο. Ταυτόχρονα η ισοδύναμα ξεκίνησε σαν γκαλερί, αλλά συνεχεία έγινε και είναι οποίο σιγά σιγά σταδιακά, γιατί απλώ έκανα κρασιά για να ε, κερνάω του επισκέπτε και κατέληξα και είναι οποίο μετά. Ε, ο μουσιακό ο χώρο, γιατί είναι ένα από τα ε, παλιά ενωπία του νησιού. Αναστηλωμένο στην, σε, όσο, όσο γινόταν ε, χωρί ρετού, αρετουσάριστο και, αφια, και αφιασίδωτο. Φιλοξενεί Έλληνε καλλιτέχνε κατά ε, 80-90% και έχει και κάποιου από το διεθνή χώρο. My five days on the island passed very quickly, and I didn't even visit the volcano. Santorini is one place that every avid traveler must visit. It's a unique place that will leave you with wonderful memories for the rest of your life.